All right, this goes out to all the guys that uh, want to check their furnace, feeling a little, uh, a little manly, and uh, want to check it out themselves first before they call someone and pay 120 bucks just to have them come out and tell them that they're stupid. So, uh, what we got here is a carrier furnace. Uh, I believe it's like, uh, I don't know, 15 years old. So I guess it's considered an older model. And uh, I was always told in the past that uh, all these parts in these furnaces, they're all around 20 bucks and pretty much all come from China. So I'm like, well, before I call someone out, I better check for the obvious. So number one, I checked to make sure that the breaker was on, that it wasn't triggered. Although if the breaker was triggered, that'd be a bad sign. I mean, there'd be like a massive short inside the unit. So I didn't want to see that. But normally the control board will prevent that from happening. But anyways, so everything was good. I was up here, um, fired the unit on, put my thermostat. I got a nest thermostat, put it on a, just a blow mode, you know, just fan mode. And the unit turned on. Well, first of all, I turned it off. So I got a switch here, uh, shut that off. Uh, for over five minutes while I was up here just looking to see if anything like looked burnt out or if I smelt any electric, you know, something burned out or a fuse burnt out. And uh, I didn't even take the cover off to check the actual board because these things have codes on them. So anyways, after leaving the furnace, I actually switched off. I switched it back on and it turned back on, ran for about 30 seconds and then shut off. When I mean ran, like the fan kind of started and then it stopped. And then I'm like, well, you got to check for codes. And at first I was looking at it this way. I'm like, I don't see any lights. I thought my unit was completely dead. But then I turned over to the side here and that little red LED started flashing. And the way it flashes is the first digit of the code, it'll flash quick. So it went flash, flash. That's two. And then it pauses and then flash three, but slower. One, two, three. And then it keeps doing it over again. Flash, flash, pause, flash, flash, flash. So I'm like, well, what does that mean? So I like looked it up on YouTube and I had this thing off. But you know, like most homeowners, we just take this door off. We look inside and say, oh, what's going on? What, you know, what's broken? Dude, we don't know, right? Because we're not heating, air conditioning, license, whatever. So I looked on YouTube. They're like, yeah, you got to find the LED code and look on the back of your furnace door. I'm like, oh yeah, that's where that stuff is. I thought I had to take this off to get to all the codes. So, when it flashes 2-3, it says pressure, pressure switch did not open. Check for obstructed pressure tubing, pressure switch stuck closed. Well, first of all, I'm like, what the heck is a pressure switch? And why would it be obstructed after having this thing in this house for 15 years? Uh, how, how could a pressure switch all of a sudden become um, obstructed? So I'm like, the little critter get up in here, start eating my wires, you know? So I start checking this, you know, the lead that goes to the nest the thermostat. I mean, it's right in my master bedroom, so this, this wire doesn't go too far. But man, all it takes one little critter come here and start nibbling the wires, although he'd probably be electrocuted and be, and be dead by now. Um, ooh, it's getting hot up here, finally. So anyways... I looked up on YouTube, I said, what the heck's a pressure switch? I mean, I know this is the fan, but I was like, what the heck's a pressure switch? So let me turn my light on. So this, I guess, is the pressure switch. So I made sure like all the wires were connected. Again, didn't know if a critter got in here, started chomping away, you know, they like to eat wires, but there's no signs of critters. There's like an old little bug right here. That's not a poop though, that's a little, that's an old bug of some sort. Um, so then I looked on YouTube, I said, what's the pressure switch? And then they showed this guy like looking at these tubes, these little black tubes, I guess, lead air from the gas coming in, and then it induces the motor. So I guess that's the way that this little switch here can tell the fan, hey dummy, turn on or turn off. And then this little switch here, I guess, is the gas switch, and I obviously made sure that was not an off mode, but I, I flipped it on and off, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. So anyways, Here's the dumbest thing that, okay, so see, see this tube? So I, I checked these tubes, you know, I didn't pop them open, but I just started squeezing them. I said, make sure there's no obstruction in it. I'm like, well, what's gonna obstruct this? This is a clear line, that's a clear line, that's a clear line, it's going right to this switch. 
I said, well, the switch, maybe the switch is bad, right? So I like took a picture of this. I'm like, oh, it's made by Honeywell. Look that part up. But then I, they said, check your, um, your other tubes. So I started squeezing this one, squeezing this one, and then this one right here, here's where it was so dumb. So whoever installed this back in the day, all right, you see this little mark right here? This little holder? This furnace from day one was installed like this. See how that tube wraps around like there? And it kind of pinches down there? You wouldn't think that's a big deal, right? been like that for over 15 years just pinch down there but see how it's a little pinched it's a tube it's got to let air in and out of it right but because the way this was installed 15 years ago this tube over time got clogged or the inside got a little deteriorated if you notice there's some holders right here so because someone was lazy or probably had too many beers when he did the installation or had a bad hangover I, I basically did this. I said, oh, this is kind of pinched. You know, you got to look for these pressure tubes, see if they're pinched. Again, I'm not in here every day, guys. I come up here every time there's an issue. That might be once every five years, just like you other homeowners or renters. So anyways, I went like this. All of a sudden, I felt pressure. The unit turned on. I'm like, son of a gun. All these years, that's been the issue. So then I, I took the tube like this. And I just, I'm sorry, I'm going to try to do a better So it was pinched like this, installed dumb, and then you just take it, see a little tube holder, and you just put it right in there. That's how it's supposed to be installed. But it wasn't. And then uh, that's about it. So now it works. It's getting hot. And uh, hopefully this video saves you guys some money from, you know, it ain't the late 90s or early 2000s anymore. You can't get some out your house for only 50 bucks. It's at least $120 with the labor shortages and whatnot. So, you know, check your furnace out. Go on YouTube. I mean, I'm sorry for the heat and air, air conditioning guys if this, you know, ruined your day. But this is just a trip charge. So I could have paid a guy. I have a good guy. He, came, he comes out and um, he gets the problem fixed if it's an easy problem. But if you got to swap out parts... I ain't doing that myself. Like, if it was just a switch, well, dude, that's easy. That's two screws and two leads of electric and two tubes. Like, that'll take two seconds, right? But how do you know if that thing's broken unless you have, you know, the proper tools? And that's where you got to get a technician out. And they might even have the part in the truck. Might as well just knock it out instead of you ordering part, waiting, and putting it in. Unless it's something real expensive. So that's my uh, video for today, guys. Hopefully this helps out. Um, if you ever get that code, it's Michael Jordan's number, blink, blink, pause, blink, blink, blink on your LED if that's a carrier for us you have, and that means you got a block tube. And that is the dumbest problem I've ever seen in a furnace um, that's been installed incorrectly for 15 years. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Please like, share, subscribe. This is not my normal type of video, but hopefully it helps someone out save some money, and then you can take that money and use it for something else. Have a good day.